For us, we got a little lucky. Last year, we were able to go out on tour with our friends in the Black Dahlia murder. Was anyone here for that? Thank you guys so much for coming back and supporting us. Uh, luckily for us, we got to do that tour. And, I, and if you were here, I might have mentioned that when this pandemic hit, we were actually in Europe. We were in the middle of a tour. We were actually almost done with the tour. I think we had like 10 shows left or something like that. And, uh, what the fuck was that? Whoops. <laughs> and uh, we were in Europe and we got a phone call and we said, hey, the borders are closing. You guys gotta come home tomorrow. And we said, tomorrow? And he said, yes, tomorrow. And we said, oh shit. And we were on flights going home the next morning. The rest of the tour canceled, all that money lost. And uh, I was, in the, when, I, when we first found out, I honestly thought to myself, good, I get to go home for once. I've been doing this for 13 and a half years. And I thought, two months at home? Cool. Selfishly, that's what I thought. But those two months turned into six, six turned into a year. And you guys know the rest of the story. This shit was weak. But I want you guys to know, I, I wanna come up here on this stage right now and tell you personally, right around the six month mark, that's when I started to question a lot of things. I started going, well, who the fuck are you without this band? Who the fuck am I? And I started going, well, what the fuck am I gonna do with my life now that my dream has been snatched from me? And it really started to fuck with me and all the shit that I've been running from in my past, it finally caught up to me and said, oh, you're gonna stand still for a while? Well, now we're coming for you. And it got me and I started to spiral down. And I tried to pick myself back up, I tried to keep it in, but like, oh, you can fucking pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And I started to pick myself up and then I fell right back down and I spiraled down even fucking worse. Until it got to a point where I was like, I gotta fucking do something, I need some help, and I spoke up about it. And luckily for me, luckily for me, I have three amazing family members I get to share the stage with every night that have my back. These beautiful musicians up here with me. I had a loving wife at home who has my back. My family back home had my back. And I had way more support than I thought I actually had when I was spiraling down. And I just wanted to come up here on stage in front of a bunch of fucking people that I don't know and let you know that it's okay to not be okay and there's no fucking stigma with suffering and you do not have to suffer in silence anymore. I know shit gets hard sometimes. Life is fucking hard enough as it is and this pandemic came and fucking ruined everything. So I know shit is hard, but I just want you guys to know you're not alone and don't fucking give up. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. There's nothing fucking wrong with it. And you will find way more support than you actually think is there, I promise you. We've lost way too many good people. We don't need to lose anymore. If there's anyone you're thinking about right now that this might ring a bell with, Give them a call when the show's over, or if it's someone here tonight, talk to them, or if you're going through something, don't be afraid to speak up. Just check in, be like, hey, I care about you, I love you, I just wanna make sure you're okay. It takes 20 fucking seconds. You don't have to suffer in silence anymore, you guys, I promise you. We've lost way too many good people, and we don't need to lose anymore. This song goes out to Trevor and the Black Dahlia murder. This one is called Neil Soul.